In an age where the ceaseless buzz of connectivity envelops us, the pursuit of solitude and serenity becomes a quiet rebellion against the norm. Daily we grapple with the societal pressure to be socially available and professionally on demand, often leading to burnout and emotional fatigue. The fear of missing out compels us to cling to relationships and circumstances that may not serve our well-being, leaving us tethered to phones and filled with anxiety over the curated lives of others that we glimpse through screens. Amidst this chaos, the philosophy of detachment offers a beacon of calm. This practice, deeply rooted in Stoic wisdom, teaches us to step back to evaluate our connections and situations with the clarity of distance. It is not an urging to sever bonds or to shun experiences, but rather an invitation to prioritize our own peace and mental clarity over societal expectations. This article aims to explore the delicate art of detaching from people and situations that no longer contribute to our personal growth. We will delve into practical techniques sites that can help us minimize unnecessary emotional entanglements and embrace a life of intentional simplicity. Let us embark on this journey together, through a narrative that gently flows from one thought to the next, weaving a tapestry of insights that will guide us toward a more mindful existence. As we explore these pages, may you find the space to breathe and the courage to release what holds you back, so you may embrace the serenity that comes with well-practiced detachment. Let this exploration be both a refuge and a guide as we learn to navigate the complexities of modern life with grace and wisdom. Section 1. The Stoic Perspective on Attachment In the Stoic tradition, attachment is often viewed as the root of unnecessary suffering. This ancient philosophical stance advocated by thinkers like Seneca and Epictetus posits that our pain stems not from the events themselves, but from our attachments to unperceptions of these events. Seneca famously wrote, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality, highlighting that it is not external occurrences that disturb us, but the importance we assign to them. Detachment, therefore, emerges as a pivotal concept in Stoicism, serving as a strategic retreat from the grip of potent emotions that cloud our judgment and disrupt peace. By cultivating a state of detachment, Stoics believe that one can maintain a steadier composure in the face of life's vicissitudes. Epictetus encapsulated this idea when he advised, Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. This fundamental stoic practice encourages individuals to focus on their responses to life's events rather than the events themselves, fostering resilience and emotional fortitude. This stoic approach to detachment is not an advocacy for emotional coldness or indifference, but rather a call to selective engagement. Engagement. This it teaches us to invest our energies wisely, engaging deeply with what truly matters our own virtues and responses while disengaging from what we cannot control such as others' opinions and behaviors. This selective detachment aids in personal growth by fostering an environment where one can thrive unencumbered by useless and often painful preoccupations. As we explore further into the Stoic methods and their application in modern contexts, remember that the goal is not to sever all ties or to sever all harmonious balance. By mastering the art of Stoic detachment, we position ourselves to lead lives marked by enhanced clarity, reduced anxiety, and profound inner peace. Deeply interwoven with the fabric of practical life offers not just a shield against distress, but a toolkit for flourishing in the face of it. Let us continue to weave these ancient insights into the tapestry of our everyday lives, drawing ever closer to the serene equanimity that Stoicism promises. Section 2. Recognizing Unhealthy Attachments Understanding and identifying unhealthy attachments is a cornerstone of Stoic practice, which seeks to liberate us from the bonds that restrict our emotional and rational freedom. Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Depictetus offer timeless insights into how weak and discern these detrimental turns. Aurelius suggested you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This idea 
is central to recognizing unhealthy attachments. If an attaches you to feel powerless and at the mercy of external circumstances, it likely does not serve your best interest. Unhealthy emotional attachments often manifest as dependencies where one's happiness seems contingent upon the behavior or approval of others, or specific outcomes in situations. Epictetus teaches, some things are in our control and others not. By this doctrine, attachments are unhealthy if they bind our peace of mind to what is beyond our control other people's actions, thoughts, or feelings, and unpredictable events. These attachments can cloud judgment, leading to decisions that are more about maintaining the status quo of the attachment rather than fostering genuine well-being. The impact of these attachments extends deeply into personal well-being decision-making processes. When we are overly attached, our decisions tend to serve the attachment rather than our true needs or rational interests. This misalignment can result in chronic stress and anxiety, and in severe cases, depression, as our mental resources are continually directed towards managing and sustaining these unhealthy bonds. By applying stoic wisdom we learn to shift our focus from external validations to internal virtues, our own character and actions which are truly within our control. This shift not only helps in recognizing unhealthy attachments, but also in mitigating their influence over our lives. As we cultivate this stoic detachment, we pave the way for more autonomous and reasoned decision-making, aligning our actions more closely with our values and rational understanding. As we continue to explore the stoic path to emotional resilience, let us integrate these principles into our daily interactions and choices. In doing so, we foster a life not dictated by external circumstances, but guided by a clear, rational comprehension of what truly contributes to our personal and moral growth. This exploration will next lead us into understanding how exactly to establish and maintain healthy boundaries an essential step for anyone seeking to apply stoic teachings in practical life scenarios. Action 3. The Power of Perspective. Gaining Clarity Through Distance. In the bustling cacophony of daily life, finding moments of quiet reflection is often akin to stepping out of a noisy party just to hear oneself think. This metaphor, vivid and evocative, captures the essence of a key Stoic practice, gaining clarity through distance. The Stoics, particularly Seneca, emphasized the value of stepping back to better evaluate our thoughts, feelings and the attachments that may govern them. Seneca once wrote, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This profound observation underscores the necessity of gaining perspective, allowing us to distinguish between our often misleading perceptions and the truth of our situations. Stepping back provides the mental and emotional space essential for this discernment. It is about creating a pause, a moment of stillness, to reflect on the nature of our attachments. Are these attachments enhancing our well-being or are they sources of unnecessary strife? By temporarily distancing ourselves from the people and situations that stir up our emotions, we can view our reactions without the immediate pressure to respond, similar to analyzing a complex picture from a distance to appreciate its entirety. Seneca's guidance to occasionally retreat into oneself to find peace is not an invitation to isolation, but a call for strategic withdrawal for self-assessment. This practice can be particularly transformative in today's fast-paced world, where constant engagement can cloud judgment. Implementing this in daily life might involve practices such as meditative walks alone, journaling sessions, or even periodic digital detoxes to lessen the noise of social media and allow for reflective solitude. Moreover, recent psychological studies echo the stoic valuation of perspective. Research indicates that creating psychological distance from our problems can reduce emotional reactivity and promote a more measured, thoughtful approach to life challenges. This is not only beneficial for emotional resilience but also enhances decision-making capabilities aligning with the stoic goal of living a reasoned life. As we delve deeper into stoic practices in the following sections, the integration of these reflective pauses as regular habits will be explored. The goal is to equip critical tools that foster a balanced perspective, enabling you not only to survive but thrive amidst life's challenges. 
This journey through Stoic wisdom is a guide to reclaiming not just peace of mind, but also a powerful agency over one's life. Section 4 Rational Detachment Making Informed Choices Stoicism teaches us that not all engagements are beneficial, and rational detachment is a powerful to lean discerning which relationships and situations align with our deepest values. This philosophical approach is not about isolation but about making informed, deliberate choices that enhance our well-being and life's purpose. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, once stated, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This sentiment is at the core of rational detachment, evaluating our interactions and commitments through a lens of rationality and value alignment. To implement rational detachment, we begin by examining our emotional responses with a critical eye. Are our reactions proportionate to the situation, or are they twist attachments? The process involved might by misplaced attack to assess whether our engagements are based on rational choices or are merely reactions to external pressures. This reflective practice allows us to pause and consider if our current entanglements truly serve our personal growth and happiness, or if they detract from it. Epictetus' teachings further illuminate this concept by urging us to align our actions with our values. He prompts us to ask ourselves whether the relationships and situations we cling to mirror our values, or if they are merely habits formed out of convenience or societal expectations. By consistently aligning our choices with our values, we make decisions that are not only rational, but also enriching. Incorporating rational detachment into daily life can be just like regular self-reflection, where one evaluates the benefits and detriments of their attachments. Techniques such as writing down pros and cons of continuing certain relationships or commitments can provide clear, visual affirmations of what should be nurtured or let go. Psychological studies support this approach, showing that such practices can significantly decrease anxiety and enhancing overall mental health and personal satisfaction. As we continue to explore these stoic methods, remember that the goal is to cultivate a life where every interaction and every commitment is chosen, not imposed. Rational detachment does not make us less compassionate or disconnected, rather, it empowers us to engage more deeply and meaningfully with the aspects we resonate with our core values. By mastering this skill, we navigate our lives not as passive recipients of external circumstances, but as active curators of our own happiness. Section 5. Conversations for Clarity, Engaging Trusted Allies Often perceived as a philosophy of personal resilience and self-sufficiency, also places significant value on community and dialogue. The Stoics understood that human beings are fundamentally social creatures, and engaging with a supportive community can be pivotal in gaining insights and strengthening our ability to dict in a healthy manner. A Stoic emperor emphasized the importance of this interaction humans have come into being for the sake of each other, so either teach them or learn to bear them. One of the most effective ways to cultivate detachment is through conversations with trusted allies. Discussing one's thoughts and feelings with someone who is understanding and supportive can provide a mirror that reflects our true selves, not distorted by the fog of immediate emotions or biases. This reflective dialogue can help clarify our thoughts, allowing us to see our attachments and aversions more clearly. Such clarity is often the first step in rational detachment where we learn to loosen the ties to things that do not serve our best interests. Engaging trusted allies in meaningful conversation has been shown by psychological research to not only alleviate emotional burdens, but also enhance our cognitive processing. This exchange allows for the externalization out of internal thoughts, providing a platform to challenge and refine them. In practice, setting up regular discussions with a mentor or friend or therapist can facilitate ongoing emotional clarity. These interactions can be structured as regular check-ins where thoughts and experiences are shared openly and without judgment, fostering a supportive environment for personal development. Furthermore, these conversations often serve as a crucible for testing the stoic principles of rationality and virtue.
By verbalizing our dilemmas and the emotions tied to them, we can better align our actions with our values as advocated by Epictetus, who stressed the importance of living a life consistent with one's principles. As we continue to navigate the complexities of detaching from unhealthy attachments, remember that the journey is not one to be undertaken in isolation. The support of a community, the wisdom shared through dialogue, these are the tools that can strengthen our resolve and refine our ability to act with intention. Let us embrace the stoic practice of community engagement as a vital component in our quest for clarity and equanimity. Through these discussions, we forge a path that is not only reflective, but also informed by the collective wisdom of those we trust. Section 6. Setting Emotional Boundaries Setting emotional boundaries is a vital stoic practice to maintain tranquility and manage our responses to external pressures without becoming overwhelmed. As the stoic philosopher Epictetus stated, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This idea underscores the importance of establishing firm emotional limits that protect our mental space from being invaded by the whims and wills of others. One effective strategy for setting these boundaries involves recognizing and defining what is within our control. Stoicism teaches us that while we cannot control external events or the actions of others, we can control our reactions to them. Begin by identifying situations that typically trigger negative emotional responses. Once these triggers are recognized, we can consciously prepare to respond in a way that aligns with our stoic values, responding with reason rather than emotion. Practical exercises to implement this include the use of daily reflections or journaling. By recording the events that disturb our peace and our responses, we can begin to see patterns and devise rational strategies to handle them. This reflective practice not only helps in setting emotional boundaries, but also serves as a training ground for cultivating a stoic response to life's challenges. Another strategy involves verbalizing these boundaries to others. Clearly communicating our limits in a calm, assertive manner could prevent mice understandings and reinforce our personal space. This communication should be straightforward and devoid of emotional charge simply stating what is acceptable and what is not. Scientific research in psychology supports the benefits of setting emotional boundaries. Studies have shown that individuals who successfully establish and maintain clear boundaries are less likely to experience burnout and are more effective in managing stress. This is particularly relevant in professional environments and personal relationships where the line between personal and external demands can often become blurred. As we continue to explore Stoic practices, remember that the art of setting boundaries is not about distancing ourselves from others, but about engaging with them on our own terms. This approach not only preserves our mental health, but also enhances our interactions by preventing the build-up of resentment and emotional fatigue. By applying these Stoic strategies, we empower ourselves to lead lives of greater purpose and peace, grounded in the wisdom of knowing what we should accept and what we should resist. Section 7. Assessing the Consequences of Detachment. Stoicism, with its profound insights into human behavior and emotional resilience, provides valuable guidance on the potential long-term effects of detachment. By employing Stoic foresight, a key principle that involves anticipating the future outcomes of our actions, we can assess the impact of distancing ourselves from certain relationships and environments. This foreseated approach enables us to make informed decisions that align with our deepest values and long-term well-being. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, emphasized the importance of this foresight with his counsel, look well into thyself, there is a of strength which will always spring up if thou wilt always look. Reflecting on past experiences is crucial in this context. By examining the outcomes of previous detachments, whether from toxic relationships or unfolding job environments, we can glean lessons about the benefits and costs associated with such decisions. These reflections help us understand patterns in our emotional responses and decision-making processes, guiding us toward more beneficial choices in the future. For instance, consider a past relationship that was marked by constant stress and 
little personal growth. By detaching from this relationship and reflecting on the aftermath, perhaps noticing an improvement in mental health and personal productivity, we reinforce the stoic belief that some separations are necessary for cultivating a more virtuous and contented life. Furthermore, integrating this stoic practice into daily life involves regular self-examination and scenario planning. Keeping a journal where you can document and analyze the consequences of your detachment decisions is a practical approach that enhances self-awareness and decision-making. This method not only applies to personal relationships, but also to professional and social environments, encouraging a holistic application of stoic wisdom. Scientific studies in psychology support the efficacy of this stoic approach, showing that engage in reflective practices by journaling about their experiences are better equipped to handle stress and make clear-headed decisions. This reflection fosters a psychological environment where one can thrive free from the undue influence of external negative forces. As we continue on this path of stoic exploration, let us remember that each step taken in detachment is not one of isolation, but one of strategic engagement with the world. By considering the long-term effects of our choices and learning from our past, we equip ourselves with the knowledge to live more deliberately and harmoniously. Let this stoic foresight guide us in nurturing relationships and environments that truly resonate with our deepest selves, thereby enhancing our journey towards a wise and fulfilling life. Section 8. A Break from Social Media Rediscovering Inner Peace In the digital age, social media platforms have woven themselves into the very fabric of daily life, influencing not only how we internal states of mind. Stoic philosophy with its emphasis on inner peace and rational detachment offers insightful perspectives on managing our engagement with these pervasive tools. Epictetus once remarked, We are disturbed not by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens. This stoic axiom is particularly relevant when considering the impact of social media on emotional well-being. Social media can often amplify feelings of inadequacy, envy, and the perpetual fear of missing out FOMO. These platforms, by their design, encourage constant comparison and competition, trapping users in a cycle of emotional highs and lows dictated by the approval and attention of others. The stoic practice of focusing on what is within our control is vital here. We cannot control the actions or thoughts of others, nor can we control the curated images of life that social media often portrays, but we can control our engagement with these platforms. A temporary retreat from social media is akin to the stoic discipline of voluntary discomfort, where one abstains from pleasures to strengthen the spirit. By disconnecting even for a short period, individuals gain the opportunity to reevaluate the influence of these platforms on their lives. This break can aid in recalibrative one's focus on more fulfilling and grounding activities such as connecting with nature, reading, or spending quality time with love which align more closely with stoic values of personal growth and contentment. Scientific research supports the benefits of such breaks. Studies have shown that reducing social media usage can significantly lower levels of anxiety and depression, especially in individuals who initially engage heavily. The emotional relief that can come from stepping back and reassessing one's digital habits. Implementing a social media hiatus involves setting clear and achievable goals. Start with a manageable period, such as a weekend or a specific part of the day, to avoid digital interactions. Use this time to engage in reflective practices like journaling or meditative walking, which foster inner peace and provide more clarity about one's emotional landscape and values. As we continue exploring stoic practices, consider this pause not as a loss but as a realignment of one's energy towards more meaningful pursuits. In doing so, we not only adhere to stoic teachings but also enhance our capacity for joy and present world. This mindful approach to social media sets the stage for a balanced life, where technology serves us rather than enslaves us. Section 9. Reevaluating Core Needs and Values Stoic philosophy extols the virtue of simplicity and the profound benefits of aligning one's life with fundamental personal needs and values. As Marcus Aurelius, a sage of Stoicism and a Roman emperor, 
advised, that is all within yourself and your way of thinking. This guiding principle emphasizes the importance of stripping away the non-essential to focus on what truly nurtures our emotional and spiritual growth. In today's fast-paced world, where external demands and distractions are incessant, it is crucial to reevaluate our core needs and values. This involves a conscious decultarting of our life, removing activities, relationships, and obligations that do not align with our deepest values. By doing so, we free up space and energy to cultivate practices and engage in relationships that truly matter and contribute positively to our well-being. Implementing this stoic insight requires a reflective assessment of what we deem essential. This can be facilitated through exercises such as value sorting, where individuals list their values and drank them in order of importance. Following this, one can audit their current engagements and identify which ones do not support these top values. This methodical approach not only clarifies what is truly important, but also highlights areas where our resources time, energy, emotions are being wasted. Scientific studies in the realm of psychology reinforce the benefits of living in accordance with one's values. Research has shown that people who align their daily actions with their long-term values experience higher levels of satisfaction and lower stress. This alignment supports a more coherent and authentic existence, reducing the internal conflict that arises from living in contradiction to one's values. Furthermore, focusing on essential needs and values fosters resilience. Stoic practices teach that when our lives are centered around core principles, we are better equipped to face life's challenges without being swayed by fleeting disturbances. This stability is crucial for long-term emotional and spiritual health. As we proceed, it's beneficial to keep revisiting and refining our understanding of our needs and values. Life is dynamic, and our priorities may shift as we grow and encounter new experiences. Regularly re-evaluating these aspects ensures that our path remains aligned with our true self, enhancing our journey towards a fulfilled and meaningful life. Let this stoic practice of focusing on the essential guide us toward greater clarity and peace, stripping away the superfluous to uncover the profound simplicity of a life well lived. Section 10. Embracing a Stoic Lifestyle for Sustained Detachment Embracing a stoic lifestyle involves integrating principles that foster detachment and emotional balance into everyday routines. This ancient philosophy provides a robust framework for handling the ebbs and flows of life with grace and resilience. As Epictetus advised, don't seek for everything to happen as you wish, but rather wish that everything happens as it actually will then your life will flow well. Starting each day with a moment of reflection can set a tone of mindfulness and purpose, anchoring your actions in a philosophical outlook that values tranquility over turmoil. Consider the potential challenges that might arise and mentally prepare to meet them with composure, using stoic principles as your guide. Following this, the practice of journaling can further enhance this daily ritual by providing a means to observe your reactions from a distance and assess them with stoic detachment. This not only aids in self-awareness but opts in cultivating a habit of responding to life's challenges with reason rather than impulse. Another transformative technique is to employ the view from above approach, picturing life's situations from a broader perspective, as if viewing them from a high vantage point. This stoic exercise reduces the weight of immediate stresses, highlighting the transient nature of most worries and realigning our focus on what truly matters. These practices have profound implications for how one approaches relationships and life's challenges. By maintaining emotional balance through stoic detachment, you can improve your interactions with others, responding to conflict or affection, not with reactive emotions but with considered, virtuous responses. This shift not only enhances personal relationships, but also fosters a peaceful internal state. Moreover, stoic principles equip individuals to face life's inevitable challenges with a fortified spirit. Viewing challenges as opportunities to demonstrate virtue and resilience can change the very nature of how problems are perceived, 
turning potential stresses into avenues for personal growth and strength. Support for these methods comes from research in cognitive behavioral therapy, which shares many principles with Stoicism. Studies have shown that techniques like cognitive reframing, similar to the Stoic view from above, can significantly decrease anxiety and improve overall emotional well-being. By adopting these stoic practices, we not only insulate ourselves from the chaos of external circumstances, but also cultivate a life of harmony and purpose. Integrating these ancient wisdoms into modern life promises not just a detachment from undue stresses, but a deeper engagement with the true joys of living. Throughout this exploration into stoic practices, we have unearthed the profound wisdom that detachment is not a withdrawal from the world but harmonious balance within it. By reflecting on the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca, we have learned that true detachment fosters resilience, offers clarity, and cultivates a peaceful inner state of midlife, inevitable tumult. We began by understanding the stoic view of attachment, recognizing how unnecessary ties can cloud our judgment and hinder our peace. We move to the importance of rational detachment, using for silent reflection to enhance our decision-making and enrich our interactions. The strategy of stepping back gaining a view from above allows us to see our lives from a perspective that values serenity over chaos, providing a compass to navigate the stormy seas of social and personal challenges. The Stoic lifestyle encourages us not to react with impulsive emotions but to respond with reasoned virtue. It teaches us to value what truly matters our own reason choices and cultivated tranquility above the fleeting disturbances of the external world. This approach does not harden us but instead fortifies our capacity to experience life's joys and sorrows with equanimity. Let us carry forward the torch of stoic wisdom, illuminating the path to a life where detachment is understood not as emotional coldness but as a serene and resilient inner state. Embrace these practices to navigate the complexities of human connections and life's trials with grace and strength. Like a tree deeply rooted, let your actions be swayed not by the gusts of feeting winds, but by the enduring winds of your deepest values. Stand firm yet flexible in the face of life's tempest, and find in Stoicism the peace that does not evade life but enriches it. In this journey of life where the only constant is change, May the stoic principles of detachment guide you to a harbour of calm amidst the waves, encouraging you to live not at the mercy of the external, but in harmony with the eternal.